we look to move away from fossil fuel generation. In the period 2015 to 2020, we put on an extra 200% of renewable energy generation in Australia. The Carmel Solar Farm is a 200 megawatt solar farm in the northwest of the state of Victoria. It is connected to a very fragile network. Because of that, then the, the network operator requested 170 MVA contribution of a short circuit power. If that short circuit power was not available, then, then that could generate a system blackout for Victoria, and it could even affect South Australia and New South Wales. Then the natural answer from a technical point of view was a synchronous condenser, which is an old technology from gas fire power stations and the hydro generation. And it operates in a borderline condition between a motor and a generator. Then it can compensate either leading or lagging power. The, the network doesn't have, let's say, the flexibility to shift loads very quickly. Then it would create a ripple effect what the synchronous condenser does is to buffer the loads so the ripple effect is not destructive in the network. It weighs over 200 tonnes. The transport requires a convoy closure of roads. The operator wanted us to, to run very specific tests for the purpose of integration of renewable energy. The forecast is that we will grow our renewable um, generation by 15% per annum. So the market is very strong, the market is very good. And really what the customer is looking for out of us is experience such as what uh, Vinci Energies can bring, experience in the EPC model, experience in executing the contract in the time frame that we want. We just met this week at the business development team um, and so we've priced four more synchronous condensers in Victoria and three in New South Wales. So